Welcome to Design World's How to Calculate series, where you learn how to apply the most important equations for sizing, selecting, and comparing linear motion and motion control products. In this session, sponsored by Maxon, we'll learn how to calculate the output torque of a DC motor based on supply voltage and speed. The operation of a DC motor is relatively straightforward. A coil is placed in a magnetic field, and when an electric current passes through the coil, torque is produced, causing the motor to turn. The applied voltage has a direct relationship to the motor's output speed and the amount of torque produced. Let's look at a typical brushed DC motor circuit. Here, the applied voltage equals the voltage drop across the resistance, R, and the inductor, L, plus the back EMF voltage. We can assume that current is constant, in which case inductance can be disregarded, and the voltage equation can be rewritten as shown here. The back EMF is a voltage generated by the rotation of the coil. It opposes the supply voltage and reduces the voltage flowing through the motor. Back EMF is determined by the angular velocity of the motor and the motor's back EMF constant. Using this equation for back EMF and the voltage equation, we get a new voltage equation. Now let's look at torque. The torque produced by the motor is directly proportional to the current through the motor. The torque equation can be rearranged in terms of current. Now, substituting for I in the voltage equation gives us a new voltage equation that shows the relationships between voltage, angular velocity, and torque. For DC motors, the torque constant, K sub T, and the electrical constant, K sub E, are equal and can be replaced with K, the motor constant. Of course, the motor constant, K, doesn't change, and the resistance in the motor windings can be assumed to be constant. So you can see from the equation that if voltage is constant, torque and speed are inversely related. This is why a DC motor's torque speed curve is a descending line with negative slope. The torque speed curve begins at the y-axis crossing, where torque is zero. This is the stall torque, the maximum torque when the motor is running at nominal voltage. The curve slopes downward until it intersects the x-axis, when torque is zero and speed is at its maximum. This point is known as the no load speed, the speed when running at nominal voltage and zero load. For more information on DC motors and other motion control topics, Visit motioncontroltips.com or designworldonline.com. Thanks for watching.